On Christmas Eve of 2021, the solar system delivered a hypervelocity impactor to the surface of Mars. Now we can listen to the seismic waves and see the crater it made, complete with chunks of ice. On this episode of Mars Guy. Stuff from space smashes into Mars and other planets every day, but not like the comets and asteroids that are the stuff of movies and dinosaur extinction. More common are much smaller asteroids called meteoroids, which are less than a meter in size, that become meteors when they're flying through the atmosphere and meteorites if they hit the ground. It's estimated that Earth is hit by about 15,000 tons every year of centimeter or smaller meteoroids, the shooting stars that you've probably seen. Start with a big enough meteoroid and it will make it all the way to the ground to produce an impact crater. More than 150 new craters have been spotted on Mars thanks to the repeat coverage of some of the cameras on orbiting satellites there. They're easiest to see in dusty terrain because the darker material underneath the brighter dust gets thrown out during the impact, creating good visual contrast. Most of these new craters are small, less than about 10 meters in diameter and less than a meter deep, because there are way more small meteoroids in the solar system than asteroids. But on December 24, 2021, an asteroid estimated at between 5 to 12 meters struck Mars and made the biggest new crater yet observed, about 150 meters in diameter. That's big enough to be seen in the daily coverage from the low-resolution weather camera called Marcy, allowing the time of impact to be determined to within a day. It sprayed out dark material more than 37 kilometers from the crater. The sonic boom it generated is evident as a mock cone disturbance along the entry path, which is yet another example of the role played by the thin Martian atmosphere. The high-resolution camera called HiRISE targeted the new crater as soon as it could. Here's a stadium for scale. The image reveals that not only was dark stuff thrown out, but some really bright stuff too. So bright and white, in fact, that it must be water ice. Proof of this comes from the way it disappears over time. And note that the ground here is too warm for it to be CO2 ice, aka dry ice. But because the atmospheric pressure is so low, about 1% that of Earth, even water ice behaves like dry ice, going directly from solid to vapor phase without a liquid phase in between. Sublime, huh? Other recent impacts on Mars have also revealed water ice, more than 48 of them now. But they've all been at higher latitudes where it's colder. This new one is at about 35 degrees north of the equator, the latitude of Memphis, Tennessee in the U.S. and Nagoya, Japan. This is important because water will be a required resource for humans going to Mars, and the closer to the equator, the better, both because it's warmer and because there's more solar input for solar-powered operations. The impact that made this crater was powerful enough to be picked up by the seismometer on the InSight lander, more than 3,500 kilometers away. It registered it as a Mars quake with a magnitude of about 4.0, strong enough that Mars guy could feel the ground shake if he was standing there. This was one of the strongest Mars quakes ever recorded by InSight, a nice parting gift to scientists as InSight slowly succumbs to dust accumulation. The seismic recording can be sped up about a hundred times to audible frequencies so that we can listen in on the biggest impact ever recorded on Mars.